All right, all right. Good morning, good morning, officially. If we haven't met, I'm Kate. I'll be guiding you through an hour of yoga this morning. Uh, if you missed my announcement just a couple minutes ago, uh, if you want something to help you balance, there is a fair amount of balancing today. Uh, a chair works really well. You can use boxes of sparkling water or soda, anything like that will work. Uh, of course, if you have your own yoga box, great. Uh, if you want pillows or blankets or anything to use as bolsters or props, grab that, have it handy. But there's nothing specifically that you'll need to use other than yourself and your body in a mat. Uh, if you're following on the playlist, have that ready because we'll press play in just a moment. Uh, one little thing, uh, as we are heading into going back to live classes, fingers crossed here, uh, let Ashuk know um, if this class is working for you at 8 a.m. or if you'd rather shift to maybe an 8.30. Um, as of right now, because everything's up in the air, we're not sure how it's going to work exactly. Um, so email Ashuk, let him know 8 or 8.30, which you would prefer um, both for streaming class as well as maybe a live class. Uh, that's what I got for you. All right, pull up your playlist if you're using it, and we will press play together in three, two, and press play. All right, and then come to find extended child's pose on your mat, toes together, knees wide, crawl your fingertips forward, and settle in. When you get there, if that doesn't feel comfortable in stillness, find a place that does. That could be lying on your back, that could be seated, really however you need to start your practice in your day. Take a few deep breaths. Checking in with your body. Checking in with your mind. Maybe you roll your forehead back and forth across the mat or circle your neck a few times if you're upright. Let go of all of the air from your lungs. Take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. Give an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Breathe in through your nose. Give a big sigh out. Inhale, taking in new fresh energy. Open mouth exhale and release what does not serve you. Then seal your lips. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Finding a full body inhale and a full body exhale. As you fill, fill every last square inch you have of space within you. And as you exhale, release every last drop of air before refilling. Stick with those full body inhales and exhales all practice long. Now, you may have noticed the sun is out and it is finally getting to be that feeling of spring. And that can be really wonderful. Um, in this social climate, that can be kind of tough too. Um, it's harder to stay apart when you just want to be outside and running around and playing and being free. Uh, but I was reading recently uh, an old book that I have. Uh, it is A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. And it has this beautiful quote about spring that I thought was so fitting for what we're all going through right now. It said, when spring came, even the false spring, there were no problems except where to be happiest. The only thing that could spoil a day was people. And if you could keep from making engagements, each day had no limits. People were always the limiters of happiness, except for the very few that were as good as spring itself. Let this be one of those points of happiness. Let your community practicing here with you be one of those people, those people who are as good as spring. Now, flip your palms upwards towards the sky and set an intention for your practice. And that could be simply what brought you to your mat. It could be what helps you through challenges on your mat. Or perhaps today it is allowing this to be one of those happy places for you. But whatever your intention is, see it clearly in your mind. Release all of the air from your lungs. Take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. And with gratitude, give a great big open mouth exhale and send it out into the universe. Then seal your lips and engage Ujjayi Pranayama. Constrict the muscles in the base of your throat as you inhale and exhale just through your nose. 
Let that breath start to build heat in your body. And that heat is going to fuel your practice. Take another deep breath in through your nose and another full breath out through your nose. And if you're ready, move forward into tabletop. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, and then right away, push into the floor as if you were pushing it away from you. Feel your shoulders round. Engage Uddiyana Bandha, your core lock. Pull your navel to your spine. Lift it to your sternum and zip your ribs in tight. Inhale, dip your belly, lift your gaze to cow pose. Exhale, push into the floor, round your spine to cat. Inhale, cow, drop your belly even lower, point your tailbone higher. Exhale, cat, completely carve out your belly, chin to chest. Inhale, stretch and open the front line of your body. Exhale, stretch through your spine. And do that a few more times on your own, further waking up your body. You can go faster, you can go slower, you can make the movements bigger or smaller. You could add on movements. Whatever you need to wake up your body is what you do here. As you move your body, start to notice those areas that feel really good this morning. Those are the areas where you push your practice a little further. Find the areas in your body that are perhaps sore or tight or uncomfortable. Maybe that's where you give yourself permission to modify or step back and practice. Release the expectations you have for yourself, for practice, for movement. Meet your body where it's at in each moment as it comes. Now come to find stillness in your tabletop. Soften your elbows just a tiny little bit and rock more weight into your fingertips. Your knuckles could even lift off the floor a little. It's the strength of your fingers and you use that here. That takes the work out of your wrists. Curl your toes underneath you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your hips into a downward facing dog. Paddle your feet. Roll out your ankles. Any movements you need to start waking up your lower limbs, you take them now. But keep your fingers spread wide on your mat. Keep your core engagement. And then find stillness in downward facing dog. Let go of all of the air from your lungs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press your belly button closer to your thighs. Inhale. Exhale, press your chest closer to your thighs. Relax your shoulders down your spine. Full body inhale. Full body exhale. Inhale, stretch your right toes high. Exhale, bend your knee, open through your hip. Now you can stay right here and hold that stretch or find some big circles with your knee. Put a little more weight in your right palm for balance. Take those circles in both directions if you chose them. Next breath in, stretch your toes high, close off your hip. Exhale, low lunge, step between your hands and come down to your left knee. Now engage your thighs, pull them in towards each other without actually moving your legs. That will be your support as you inhale and rise to crescent moon. Sweep your arms overhead. Relax your shoulders down your spine. Lift the crown of your head high. Breathe in. Breathe out and twist to the right. Sweep your right hand back. Pull your left fingertips forward. Keep your hips facing forward, but allow your chest to open to the side. Lift your chin, lengthen your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, crescent moon, come back to center. Exhale, find a little back bend here. You could bend at the elbows or maybe bring your hands together at your heart center. Lift your chin, lift your gaze, breathe in. Breathe out. Arms come high overhead, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor on the inside of your right foot and toe heel your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. It's a modified runner's lunge. You can stay here. You can move around. You can make circles with your hips if that feels good. If you want more intensity, come down to your forearms. You're sending breath and energy into your right hip here. Come back to your palms. Curl your left toes underneath you and lift your left kneecap. Now walk your hands further to the left so that you're opening to the side. Here is a skandasana stretch. Your right knee is bent, your left leg is long. Now pull your chest forward and lengthen your spine. Press your right knee back to further open your hip and put a little bend to your left knee. Then dig your heel into the floor and statically pull back to lengthen your entire leg, feeling the big stretch through your left hamstring. Breathe in. 
breathe out, walk your hands through the center and find that same stretch to the back. Bend your left knee, lengthen your right leg. Keep your spine long, press the left knee back, put a little bend to your right knee, dig your heel into the floor and statically pull back here. Keep flexing your toes back towards your shin. Breathe in, breathe out. And then walk your hands forward to your low lunge. Plant both palms flat to the floor. Inhale, bring your right toes high. Exhale, down dog, give your feet a little pedal. Inhale to bring your left toes high. Exhale, bend your knee, open through your hip. And again, you can hold that stretch or find the big circles. A little more weight goes into your left hand here. Next breath in, toes stretch high, close your hip. Exhale, low lunge, step through and come down to your right knee. Engage through your legs. Inhale, crescent moon, rise. Exhale, settle into your hips. Draw both hip bones up and in to lengthen your entire spine. Breathe in, breathe out, twist to the left. Sweep your left hand back, pull your right fingertips forward. Pull back with your left hip, push your right hip bone towards the front of your mat. Pull your belly button in tighter to your spine, lengthen your neck. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale a little lower. Good, inhale, crescent moon, arms high. Exhale, find a little back bend. Any variation works here. It can be really small, but open through your heart, open through your chest, breathe in, and let it go. Inhale, crescent moon, arms high. Exhale, palms to the floor and the inside of your left foot. And then toe heel that foot to the outer edge of your mat in the runner's lunge. And again, take movement, just stay still. You can come to your forearms for more intensity, whatever you need on that left hip. And then come back to your palms if you came to your forearms. Curl your right toes underneath you and lift your knee. Walk your hands over to the right and find Skandasana stretch here. Left knee is bent, right leg is long. And this time walk from front to back a few times. Then your right knee, lengthen your left leg. Bring it back to the top of your mat. And you just move front to back. And you walk your hands forward, find your low lunge. Heel of your hands down, fingertips pressed firmly down. Inhale, send your left toes high. Exhale to down dog, give your feet a pedal, breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, feet hip width distance apart, hang your head heavy. Bend and straighten your knees a few times. Sway from side to side. Whatever you need in your forward fold, you can take. Maybe that is finding a ragdoll pose, grabbing opposite elbows or a chest expansion. You can try nodding your head yes and shaking it no. If you have a grip, switch it out. It could be opposite elbow grip or opposite interlace to your fingers. And then find stillness. Bring weight forward into your toes. Keep your knees softly bent. Start to unroll up to stand one vertebrae at a time. Move slow, allow your chin to be the last thing to lift up off of your chest. When you reach the top, give your shoulders a few shrugs up towards your ears and down your back. Bring them forward and down, and then sweep your arms high overhead to Tadasana, mountain pose. Breathe. Start at the ground, work your way up. Lift the arches of your feet. Put more pressure on the pinky edge sides and your toes. Then use your quadriceps, your thigh muscles, to pull up on your kneecaps. Feel your legs grow even longer. Then draw your hip bones up and in, lengthen through your spine. Lift your gaze between your fingertips. Good. Now stretch your fingertips as high as you can while dropping your shoulders as low as you can. Broaden your upper body, keep it that strong. Inhale. Exhale, find a tiny little back bend here. Lift your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, Tadasana, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Inhale to a halfway lift, press your palms to your shins or your thighs with a flat back. Exhale to a high plank pose and hold. Now in your high plank pose, palms are directly underneath your shoulders rather than in front of them. And then put a tiny little bend to your elbows so that your arm strength holds you. Feel the roundness through your shoulders as you push the ground away. And now squeeze your feet together so that they touch. Heel and big toes are connected. 
Take a deep breath in. Exhale, spin your heels to the right, lift your left hand. It's a side plank. Keep your right shoulder directly over your right wrist. You could stagger your feet one in front of the other for more balance or come down to your right knee. No matter where you are, push into the floor as if you are pushing it away from you, like you're coming out of your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Take a slow breath out. Inhale to your high plank pose. Exhale, spin your heels to the left, lift your right hand, side plank here. Same options. Lift out of the left shoulder. Keep the wrist directly under your shoulder as you lift and push. Extend your right fingertips as high as you can, then push your hips as high as you can. Take a breath. Let it go. Inhale to your high plank pose. Exhale, come down halfway, elbows squeezing tight at your sides. Inhale to upward facing dog, flip to the top sides of your feet. And exhale to down dog with your hips. Take a deep breath in. Slowly let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, mountain pose, rise. Exhale, find a back bend a little bit deeper this time. Take a breath here and let it go. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into your toes. Exhale, high plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, spin your heels to the right, side plank. Take one breath in and one breath out. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, side plank, heels to the left. Lift your right hand, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, upward facing dog, option for your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Weights in your toes. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, find an even deeper back bend. Full body inhale. Full body exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Crown of your head pulls forward. Exhale, high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side plank, open left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side plank, open to the right. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, open your chest. Exhale, down dog, lift your hips. Take a full breath in. Take a slow breath out. Ujjayi inhale. And Ujjayi exhale. Always coming back to your Ujjayi breath. And if you lose track of it at any point in time, sit, close your eyes and breathe. Join again in the physical movements only when you have that breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend your knees, sink into your hips. Arms stretch overhead. Now breathe here. Push firmly into your heels. Feel the work in the back line of your legs. If you look down and you notice that your feet are apart and knees are together or vice versa, try stepping your feet hip width distance apart instead of squeezing everything tight. Take a breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms. Get lower in your hips as you sweep your arms back in space. Palms to the floor, fingertips stretch long behind you. With that stretch of your fingertips, your heart opens further. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to one-legged Tadasana. Lift your left knee and come to stand on your right leg. Now take your time to find your balance here. Lift out of your right hip rather than letting it push out to the side. Imagine one long line of energy through the entire right side of your body. Use your lower abdomen to keep your knee lifted to hip height. Lengthen your spine, breathe in, breathe out. One more big inhale. Exhale, lunge, airplane your arms. Step your left foot all the way back, your hands come with you. Now there's a deep bend in your right knee. Push into your left toes to propel your entire body forward. Imagine that long line of energy now from the back of your left heel all the way through the crown of your head. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, crescent lunge, sweep your arms overhead, 
Exhale as you drop your shoulders away from your ears and settle into your hips. Pull back with your right hip, push your left hip forward. Breathe in, breathe out, open twist to the right. Sweep your right hand back, pull your left fingertips forward. Now you've been here before just from your knee. Same idea, pull the right hip back, push your left hip forward, lift your shoulders directly over your hips, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale back to crescent moon, both arms high. Exhale, skandasana stretch to the back. Pivot open to the left, bend your left knee, keep your right leg long as you come all the way down to the floor. Breathe here, press the left knee back. Now, it's not full skandasana pose quite yet unless you're comfortable with it and you want to. Otherwise, just send that breath and energy into your right hamstring. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands forward to low lunge. Now here, keep your left hand grounded. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your right hand high. Dragon fly twist. Lift out of your left shoulder. Make your core do the work to hold you here. Now pivot to the outer edge of your left foot. So now your left inner thigh is facing the ceiling. Your body starts to turn to the right. Take a deep breath in, exhale, side plank pose. Step your right foot back. You can float your foot as you step it. You can set it down. Take a breath, let it go. Now from here, your right foot comes to the floor behind you. Step behind, take a deep breath in as you lift your hips into wild thing pose. It's like a half of a back bend. Right fingertips come up and over. You follow with your gaze as you open the front line of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big inhale. Exhale, release your right hand back to the floor. Inhale, bring your right toes high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Now inhale to one-legged Tadasana once more. Your left knee will lift. Exhale at the top, breathe and find your balance. And of course, it's okay to put your left foot down on the floor to maintain that balance if you need it here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open twist to the left this time. Sweep your left hand back, your right fingertips pull forward. Hips stay forward, just your chest opens to the side. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Connect your palms, draw them down to your heart. Breathe here. Now, keep your heart lifted to your thumbs. You can stay upright, press your knee back, or begin to bend your right knee and sink down, getting deep into your hip and your glute. You can take it down to any amount, but do find your breath. Each inhale, you lift and lengthen. Each exhale, you increase that stretch through your hip by pressing the outside of your left ankle into your right thigh. Now, so begin to unwind that left leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to standing splits. Bring the left leg up behind you as you lower your head and hands to the floor. Now, let your head be heavy here. Tuck your chin and then tuck the left hip underneath so that your kneecap is either towards the floor or depending how high your leg is, it could point out behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, cow face legs, bend your knees. Tuck the left knee all the way behind the right one as you come to sit on the floor. So that way when you come to sit down, your right leg is crossed over the left. Now we're not doing full cow face pose, which adds arms. It's just the legs for a good twist here. Your knees could be wider, the knee could be upright. It doesn't really matter. But if they're stacked in, then pull your heels in as close as you can. Left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist, starting at the base of your spine. Slowly work your way up through your shoulders. Maybe bring it into your neck. Inhale, sit a little taller. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, sit up as tall as you can. Exhale, unwind. You can give it a little counter twist to the left. Come back to the center. From here, keep your cow face legs. Roll on down to your back, nice and slow. All the way down to the floor. Now, when you get there, squeeze your thighs in together as tightly as you can. Bring your arms overhead. And now cross your left arm under the right. Here, you can grab opposite shoulders and point your elbows up high or cross your forearms and connect your palms. If you take that variation, fingertips touch the floor overhead. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, eagle crunch. Lift your hips, lift your shoulders, and work to connect your knee and your elbow at the center. Inhale, lower, tap the floor if you can. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Move with your breath. Your lower back always stays pushing down into the floor here. 
Draw your belly button closer to the floor, keeping that core lock, Uddiyana Bandha, in place. Inhales, you open. Exhales, you close. Keep your chin tucked. You're not here long. Go through one more round of breath. And then unwind and find a long body stretch. Bring your arms overhead, point your toes, breathe in. Give an open mouth exhale. Then come back to Ujjayi breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Bring your knees into your chest, rock a little side to side, release your lower back. And then grab behind your hamstrings and rock up and down the length of your spine a few times. When you have enough momentum to come to the top, cross your ankles, plant your palms, step or hop back to your high plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back down. Take a breath and let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale here and breathe. Feel the heat start to build in your thighs. Stay low. Toes, knees, hip bones all in line, whether it's squeezing together or hip width distance apart, but relax the grip on your toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms. Sweep your palms to the floor. Allow your collarbones to pull away from each other. Stay low in your hips. Keep that work in the back line of your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to one-legged Sadasana, this time lifting your right knee. Exhale here and breathe. Lift out of the left hip. Find that long line of energy through the entire left side of your body now. Fingertips high, shoulders low. Think of 90 degree bend in your right knee. So heel directly under that knee. Take a breath. Slowly let it go. Full body inhale. Exhale, lunge, airplane your arms. Step your foot all the way back behind you. Push into your right toes. Feel your entire body start to move forward. But keep it that strong, that open through your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to crescent lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, drop your shoulders back down from your earlobes. Keep the deep bend in your left knee here. Make sure that your toes are out in front of the knee to protect the knee joint. Breathe in. Breathe out, open twist to the left. Sweep your left hand back. Stretch your right fingertips forward. Pull back with your shoulders so they stay directly over your hips. Your hips stay forward, just your heart opens to the side. Lengthen your entire neck, breathe in, breathe out. Pull back with the left hip, push the right hip forward. One more big inhale, one more exhale here. Inhale, crescent lunge, arms high. Exhale, Skandasana to the back, bend your right knee. Left leg stays long as you make your way to the floor. Lift your chest. All I really want you to think about here is that opening and the length through your spine. Take a breath. Let it go, and then walk your hands forward to your low lunge. Bend your left knee once more. Keeping your right hand planted, lift your left hand high into your dragonfly twist. Lift out of the right shoulder to start, making sure that your core is doing the work to hold you. Now, you pivot to the outer edge of your right foot. Right inner thigh faces the ceiling. Now you do get to push down into that right hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side plank. You can step your foot back. You can come down to your knee. Any variation works here, but do push your hips up as high as you can. Keep your shoulders stacked. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Release the left foot behind you now. Right behind you. Flat foot to the floor. Push into it as hard as you can. Lift your hips high. Take a deep breath in. Find your wild thing pose. Exhale. Allow your fingertips to fall away. Your chin falls from your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Full body inhale. Exhale, left hand back to the floor. Inhale, left toes high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift your right knee. Exhale here, find your balance. Once more, lifting out of that left hip. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Sweep your right hand back. Pull your left fingertips forward. Hips stay forward. It's just your chest that opens to the side. Inhale, come back to your center. Exhale, figure four. Right ankle crosses over your left thigh. Hands together at your heart. Lift your heart to your thumbs. You can stay here. Press your right knee back in space to feel the stretch in your hip. You can begin to bend the left knee, coming down towards the floor. If that's the case, then you push your knee towards the floor. 
Either way, increasing the pressure on the outside of your right ankle by pushing into your leg will make that stretch more intense. Keep your spine long. Find your breath. Deep breath in. And a slow breath out. And then begin to unwind that right leg. Inhale. Exhale, standing splits. Bring the right leg overhead as you release your head towards the floor. Hands flat to the floor or fingertips, whatever works. You can bend the standing knee if you need, but do let your head be heavy. All that blood is going to the crown of your head and to your crown chakra. That's good. That energy helps you connect with things that are greater than yourself. Deep breath in. Exhale, pull your chest a little closer to your thigh. One more big inhale. Exhale to your cow face legs, bend your knees, and this time your right knee will tuck underneath the left. Sit all the way down to the floor. Any variation with your knee will work here. It can be wider, it can be upright. You can pull your heels in tight. Sit up as tall as you can, right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you. Sit up as tall as you can, inhale. Exhale, twist from the base of your spine and slowly work your way all the way up. Bring it into your shoulders, your neck. Each inhale, you sit taller. Each exhale, you twist deeper. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, unwind. Give it a little counter twist to the right. Move back to the center. Roll all the way down to the floor. Arms overhead. Right arm sweeps under the left here. Grabbing opposite shoulders or connecting your palms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, eagle crunch. Lift your hips. Lift your shoulders. Strive to make that connection. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Move with your breath. Find what feels strong in your body. Keep your lower back pressed into the floor. Inhales open, exhales close. There's not too many of these. But you do want to make sure that your core is firmly engaged the entire time. Pull your ribs together. Take a deep breath in to open. Full breath out to close. Go to two more times through. And then unwind, arms overhead, point your toes, take a deep breath in. Big open mouth exhale, release some heat. Seal your lips, breathe in, breathe out. Bring your knees to your chest, rock a little side to side. Then grab behind your thighs, begin to rock up and down the length of your spine. When you get enough momentum to the top, you can step or hop your feet back. Take a deep breath in and high quick. Exhale, come halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back down. Take a breath in and let it go. So here we flow through this one breath, one movement. It does go just a little bit faster. Uh, don't worry about perfecting the balances or maybe getting a pose exactly to the best you've ever made it. Let it move freely through your body. It's almost like a dance once it all flows together. Take a breath and let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, eat katasana, chair pose. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, one leg in tadasana, left knee up. Exhale, lunge, airplane your arms. Inhale, crescent, lift your arms. Exhale, open twist to the right. Inhale, crescent, arms high. Exhale, skandasana to the back, bend your left knee. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Exhale, dragonfly twist. Inhale, pivot to the outer edge of your foot. Exhale, side plank. Deep breath in. Exhale, right foot releases to the floor. Inhale, wild thing. Open your heart. Exhale, right palm down. Inhale, right toes high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one-legged tadasana, left knee lifts. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, figure four, drop into your hips. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, standing splits, release it down. Take a breath in. Exhale, cow face legs, tuck the left knee under the right and sit. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to the left, little counter twist. This time, simply sweep your right leg around. Come back to your high plank pose, inhale. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one breath in. Take one breath out. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, travel to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, one leg in Tadasana, lift your right knee. Exhale, lunge, airplane your arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, Skandasana to the back, bend your right knee, left leg is long. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Exhale, dragonfly twist, lift your left hand. Inhale, pivot to the outer edge of your right foot. Exhale, side plank pose, take a breath. Exhale, release your left foot behind you. Inhale, wild thing, open your heart. Exhale, left palm comes back down. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one leg in Tadasana, right knee up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, figure four, drop down low. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Exhale, standing splits, come down. Take a breath. Exhale, cow face legs, tuck the right knee under the left. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen, move through center. Exhale, counter twist to the right. Sweep your left leg around. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lift your hips. Take a deep breath in. Take a slow breath out. Full body inhale. A full body exhale. Ujjayi breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, one legged Tadasana, left knee up. Exhale, lunge, airplane your arms. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, Skandasana to the back. Then your left knee lengthen your right leg. Now this time I want you to find your full Skandasana pose. That could mean you stay here and work on lifting your chest, pointing your tailbone at the floor. If you're there, try bringing your hands together at your heart and balancing. If you want Skandasana arms, left elbow pulls back, right fingertips reach forward. If you want even more, you lift your hips up off of your heel and hold. Now, oftentimes the back leg holds the majority of that work. I want you to use the strength of both of your thighs. So that little bend in your front knee, that helps to lift, 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 and keep you strong. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. Inhale. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Exhale, driving fly twist. Inhale, pivot on your left foot. Exhale to a side plank and hold. Now, here, play around with your side plank. That might mean coming to a full side plank when you normally stay on a knee. It could mean lifting the top foot today. Maybe it's playing with a tree variation or a toe lock. Wherever you are, keep your hips stacked one directly over the other. Push into the ground. You're defying gravity. You're not falling down into the floor. Find that strength throughout the entire left side of your body. Good. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, release your right foot behind you. Take a deep inhale as you lift your heart open to wild thing pose. Exhale here. Take a full body inhale. Take a full body exhale. Release your right palm down. Inhale, send your toes high. Exhale, low button, step forward. Then inhale, rise. Exhale, breathe. Now, take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist and open. And then you're going to stay here this time. Now, if you want, you could find a toe lock. Peace fingers, reach down, wrap around your big toe. If you have that grip, fantastic. Work on the balance and lifting and lengthening your standing leg. If your standing knee is bent, I want you to just focus on that. Don't worry about that top leg. If it's strong, then you start to kick the heel forward. If you have two long straight legs, worry about your shoulders directly over your hips rather than leaning forward into it. And lastly, you can release your left hand back. Maybe your gaze follows. Now, these are all just options. You can simply work on balance today and staying upright. But wherever you are, I want you to feel that connection of your standing foot to the earth. I want you to feel that energy go up your leg, all the way through your torso, all the way reaching out through the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in. 
Take a slow breath out. Full body inhale. A full body exhale. Take two more breaths here. The bottom of your second breath, if you have your toe, release it. Inhale, come back to one-legged Tadasana facing the front. Exhale, figure four, cross it over, and start to sink towards the floor. Now if you're like, Kate, I've had enough of standing on one foot. Uh, you can find that really big hip opening stretch from figure four uh, by bending your knee and letting your hands come all the way down to the floor or to something that you're using for balance, uh, if that feels better to you today. Maybe you stay with your chest lifting towards your thumbs, but get down really low for a bigger stretch in your left hip. Perhaps you would like to play with a little inversion or arm balance. Palms will come to the floor. And flying pigeon, you're using your triceps as your shelf for your shin. Your shin is going to rest on the backside of your arms. Hook your toes around your right arm here for support and lean forward. And maybe that's as far as you take it today. It's just playing with leaning forward. If you want, you can lean forward and then lift your right foot. You could extend the right leg all the way out behind you. You could do none of these things and stay in figure four and that's okay too. This is just another way to challenge your breath with movement. That's it. That's all inversions are about. Um, you never have to stand on your hands to be doing yoga. And I want that to be perfectly clear because I think sometimes we feel pressure to try these things that maybe don't feel safe in our bodies. And I want you to feel safe and good in your practice, not feel pressure. Wherever you are, you breathe. It's really, that's what yoga practice is. It's a breath practice. Maybe even close your eyes. Take one more deep breath in. Take one more slow breath out. Now, if you were balancing on your hands, slowly make your way back to your right foot, lift your chest, take a breath. And let it go. Begin to unwind your left leg. Inhale. Exhale, standing splits. Bring it down. Now here, place one of your hands around your calf. See how that feels. Use the strength of that hand to pull your chest in towards your thigh. And maybe you stay just like this. Maybe your other hand begins to walk closer to your foot. Maybe both hands come to your standing leg so that you're just balancing on your right foot. No matter where you are, tuck your chin to your chest, reach your crown of your head down, take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out, one more big inhale. Exhale, tuck the left knee into the right, come all the way down to a seat. Right knees crossed over the left. Now, this time we're going for a big stretch through your hip. So work to stack your knees, as close to it as you can get. Remember, all those options are still here. Then pull your heels in as close as you can and hold on to your feet. Now, when you do this, notice if that right side wants to lift off the ground. If it does, push it back down. Keep it grounded. Both hips are down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, begin to hinge at your hips and lean forward with your chest. So it's a flat back. You don't want any rounding in your spine, uh, which is naturally what our bodies want to do, right? You just want to slump forward. Lead with your chest. You can actually push your forearms into your ankles to help with that leverage to keep the length. And maybe you only come down an inch and that's okay. Maybe your hips are really open today and you're able to get all the way down to your thigh. I do want you to feel that big opening through the right hip and the right thigh. So keep it grounded, lean down as much as you need to feel it. Each inhale, you create space between the vertebrae and your spine. Each exhale, you fold a little closer. Take one last breath here. Let it go. Slowly rise. Just circle that right leg around. Come into your high plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, to downward facing dog. Give your feet a pedal. Circulate the blood. Uh, when you close off that circulation, you feel a little tingly. So wiggle your toes. Circle your ankles. Take a breath. We'll let it go. Next inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift your right knee. Exhale, lunge, airplane your arms. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, crescent. 
Exhale, skandasana to the back. Bend your right knee. Keep your left leg long and breathe. Find your option here. Hands can stay on the floor or something for balance. Pull your hip bones up and in. Try to find one long line of energy from your tailbone through the crown of your head. If you want those arms, right elbow pulls back, left fingertips reach forward. Push into the ground. Use the strength of both of your legs and lift, lift, lift off of the ground. Find your breath. Your gaze is over your left fingertips here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift an inch higher. One more big inhale. Exhale, lower it down. Walk your hands forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Find your twist. Left hand high. Inhale, pivot to the outer edge of your right foot. Exhale, find your side plank and breathe. And again, any variation here of your side plank. Use it as time to play and experiment with something maybe you haven't tried before. No matter where you are, push into the ground. Lift out of that right shoulder socket. Lift your chin a little from your chest, keeping your neck long versus closing it off, which is going to make it harder to breathe. Two more breaths. Bottom of your second breath, you release your left foot behind you. Take a deep breath in as you lift your hips to wild thing. Exhale here. Inhale, open the front line of your body. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release your left hand to the floor. Inhale, lift your toes high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one leg exit asana. Lift your right knee. Exhale, twist and hold. Now, you can stay here and work on that balance. Standing on one foot and twisting and facing a different direction is really complicated. So maybe that's where you want to stay today. Maybe you hold on to that knee. Maybe you go for the toe lock, left piece fingers, right big toe. Lift out of your left hip, lengthen your entire leg first. That is your first step. Then start to push the right heel forward any amount. If your body has to lean forward to do it, don't kick the heel forward, keep it in. Having that entire length through your leg, through your spine, that is so much more important than a straight top leg here. Now, if you're kicking that foot out, the more you push your toe into your fingers, the more you're going to pull your fingers back into your toe in opposition. That push in both directions, the opposition is what makes you balance here. Think of opening your chest, pulling your collarbones away from each other. Relax your shoulders, take a deep breath in. A slow breath out. Always coming back to breath. Energy. Feel it from the foot that you are standing on. It travels up your leg. It moves through your belly and your heart. It extends out from your fingertips and through the crown of your head. Everything is connected. Take two more breaths. The bottom of your second breath, if you have your toe, release it. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, figure four, cross your right ankle. Bend your knees, start to sink low. Now, keep your chest forward no matter where you are. So rather than rounding forward, hollowing your belly and your chest, you lift it. Come down any amount, your hands can come to the floor. You can try that inversion here. Uh, if you're coming down to the floor, Try hooking your foot on your arm. So this time it's your left arm. That hook is really what helps your body from slipping off, I think. And then really press into your fingertips. Knuckles can lift off the ground. Your fingers are really strong. The more you utilize that strength, the easier it's going to be to balance on your hands. And maybe the left will lift. Today, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you start to extend it out behind you for your flying pigeon. Your lower abdomen has to do so much work to lift your hips over your shoulders. So really find that engagement, that Uniana Banda that you've been using all practice long. You channel that strength and that energy here. And remember, you don't have to ever lift your feet off the ground. That's okay. That's not failing at yoga by any means. I just want you to find a place where you feel challenged, but where you can still breathe. Ujjayi breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Full body inhale. And exhale. If your feet lifted off the floor, begin to find that grounding once more. Come back to your figure four, lift your chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale, begin to unwind your leg, inhale, 
exhale, standing splits, lift the right toes high, keep the hip tucked underneath you. Now bring one hand to your standing leg, pull yourself in. Use the other hand for balance to start. And then if you feel confident there, maybe start to crawl your fingertips in. Maybe your other hand comes to your standing leg as well. You use both hands to pull your body in. Keep your chin tucked. Rip the mat firmly with your toes. Breathe in. Breathe out. One last inhale here. Stretch your toes as high as you can. Exhale, cow face. Draw it all the way underneath as you sit. Left knee tops the right. Now, bring your heels in as close as you can to your body. Make sure the left hip stays down to the floor. Don't let it lift up. Keep it grounded. Lengthen your spine so as tall as you possibly can. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, begin to hinge at your hips, bringing your chest forward. The lower you go, the more sensation you might feel in that left hip. It might travel down your thigh. That's what you're going for here. But as you lean forward, your left hip does like to start to lift. So when that happens, come back up, push it down, lean forward again. And remember, you can push your ankles into your forearms, forearms to ankles to help increase the stretch through your spine. One more full breath in, one more slow breath out. Gently come back to the top, unwind the left leg, sweep it around, high plank pose. Take an inhale, exhale halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath, let it go. Full body inhale, full body exhale. Inhale, stretch your right toes high. Exhale, half pigeon, shin comes forward, left leg is towards the floor here, not out to the side. With that left hip tucked underneath, draw your shoulders upright over your hips, see how it feels. If there's no pain or strain, you can walk your chest up. If it doesn't feel good to be upright, lie on your back. It's a figure four on your back, so you find half pigeon. I think the most common question people ask me about half pigeon is their shin. They say, I can't get my shin to the match the top edge of my mat. Having that does not matter, honestly. If my shin is parallel to the top of my mat or if my heel is tucked in, it doesn't change the stretch in my hip at all. Um, it is the tuck of the left hip down. If this is open, then I feel the change. So with that hip tucked underneath, that top shin can really be wherever it's comfortable to you. And then once you have found your spot where you feel like you can let go, Draw the left hip just a little closer to the floor, so you're rocking a little to the left. Um, if you've ever gotten that half pigeon adjustment, um, which is, I think, the majority of people's like, favorite adjustment, I know it's mine. Uh, that's what we're doing there, is we're pushing that left hip down and pulling the right hip back a little bit to try and keep it even through your hips, which will then reduce tension in your low back in this pose. Because I can't physically adjust every one of you right now. That's why I'm trying to explain uh, what I would be doing if I was there. But let it feel good. Let it feel like a place where you can let go. If it feels like you have to grit your teeth through this pose, again, lie on your back instead. It should feel good. Feel your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Maybe you open and close your jaw a few times. Now, if you're on your back, just stay on your back and you can switch out your legs when you're ready. If you are forward, walk your hands back towards your hips. Make sure your palms are flat to the floor. Inhale to stretch your right toes high. Exhale back to down dog. Give your feet a quick little pedal to circulate that blood. When you're ready, inhale to stretch your left toes high. Exhale to half pigeon neck. Once again, sit upright first. Tuck that right hip underneath. Kneecap is to the floor. See how it feels. If it doesn't feel good, lie on your back. 
If it feels good, walk your chest down to the floor and find a resting place for your forehead. And this time, think of pushing the right hip bone down closer to the mat and gently pulling back with your left hip. I think we feel pressure a lot to be strong, whether it is on our mats or mentally, emotionally off of our mats. And sometimes we need to hear that it's okay to just let go. It's okay to not be strong. And this is a perfect place to practice that. You don't have to grip. You don't have to engage. You just have to let go. Sometimes letting go is just as important as staying strong. Let your body start to slow down. Try to match that with your breath. Maybe you start to count through your inhales and exhales. Getting in as slow and stretched out as you can. Once again, if you're on your back, just stay there because that's where we will all meet. If you are forward, take one more breath. And then walk your hands back towards your hips. Curl your toes under. Inhale to stretch your left toes back. Exhale to down dog. Give your feet another little pedal. Inhale and look forward. Exhale, step forward. Have a seat. From here, roll all the way down to your back. And once you're on your back, walk your heels in towards your seat. Palms pressed to the floor next to you. Take a deep breath in, push into your heels, lift your hips into bridge pose, and hold. Breathe. Now keep your knees in line with your hips. They like to go wider here. Draw them in. Keep your legs slightly engaged. Hip bones tuck up and in, ribs draw together. If you would like, you can squeeze your shoulder blades together underneath you. Maybe walk them in a little bit to interlace your fingers underneath your back for a chest expansion. If you still have a whole lot of energy in your body that you're looking to get out, uh, you can take that into your full wheel pose, bringing your palms to the floor, fingertips facing your shoulders, push the ground away from you. Or perhaps you have a big stack of pillows that you want to put underneath your tailbone here. Wherever you are, do allow your chest to open, your shoulders to fall back as your collarbones spread. Let in that vulnerability. Take five breaths from wherever you are. After five breaths, you release your hips down to Sukta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees wide, one hand to your belly and one to your heart. Let go of Ujjayi breath and start to find the natural rhythm to your breathing. Open and close your jaw a few times. Maybe try sticking your tongue out. Now release all of the air from your lungs. Take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. Give a great big open mouth exhale. And then like that deep breath in. And a big sigh out. And now I want you to think of your intention that you set at the beginning of practice today. See that intention clearly in your mind. Release all the air from your lungs. Take another deep breath in and with gratitude, great big open mouth exhale to send it out. If you're comfortable here in Supavada Konasana, spend Shavasana like this. If you'd rather extend your legs and your arms, find any other positioning to your body, do that. But pick a place where you can find stillness comfortably. And do allow yourself a few moments here. There's no rush to leave. This is where you soak up all of the energy that you created during your practice. From the crown of your head all the way to your toes, 
Allow your muscles to melt away into the floor. Yeah. Ernest Hemingway, he missed it at the beginning. He wrote uh, memoirs, essentially. It's called The Movable Feast. It says, when spring came, even the false spring, there were no problems except where to be happiest. The only thing that could spoil a day was people, and if you could keep from making engagements, each day had no limits. People were always the limiters of happiness, except for the very few that were as good as spring itself. Right now, we are having this time that we've never had before to relearn who we are, to choose who we spend time with, those few people who are as good as spring itself. Those are the people we surround ourselves with. And then we create our own happiness. We find time to explore who we are and what we need and what brings us joy. There truly are no limits to that. So today, feel that sunshine on your face. Feel the joy of being present in each moment. And go bring yoga off of your mat. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your practice and your day. It truly is an honor. I miss your faces so much. To you, I bow. Namaste, my friends.